In this video, I want to look at Skeleton. Now, Skeleton is a CSS boilerplate that adds a nice foundation to your web projects that are going to allow you to um, have a responsive fluid design that well, amongst other things, is going to look cross-browser consistent, and it's really going to skeleton. That is, is going to take care of all that uh, underlying stuff that is, is tedious in any web project, like setting up some default styles, CSS resets, and conceptualizing uh, a grid system for laying out the elements on your page. So, first thing to say is, why would you use uh, skeleton, or for that matter? any uh, boilerplate. Well in essence it's just going to really speed up your development process. Uh, skeleton is generic enough to really not get in the way of your design decisions and rather just adding some uh, I guess some some things that are like the usual suspects in your in your pages. Uh, as I mentioned before CSS resets and just setting up everything so regardless of the browser that you're looking at and regardless of the device that you're looking at, you know, the dimensions of the screen, uh, you're going to have some consistency there. Uh, now let's look at actually how Skeleton works. Now probably the key value add that Skeleton has is its uh, 960 based grid system. Now Skeleton is based on an older CSS grid system called 960, and the 960 refers to the maximum width that um, that the grid system works at. And Skeleton is no different. Its maximum width is 960 pixels. So let me show you what I built with Skeleton. Now this is a really simple layout where I have uh, my title up top and below I have some tiles and each one of these tiles uh, represents a video that I posted on YouTube. Um, now for the, for the sake of our discussion, these tiles and their width should be considered columns and so should this entire top banner over here, everything highlighted over here, is one column. Now, skeleton is broken down into 16 columns. And each and if you have 16 column wide row, that's going to add up to 960. Um, now, this is how this is how it works. When I created this code, when we look at the un, the background code, uh, the very first article that I put in there I have class actually this should be a section but um, you see I have class and it says 16 columns that's because it spans the entire width of the layout 16 columns whereas I wanted each one of these columns to be half the width of the grid I set them to be eight columns now this is the underlying uh, system on on uh, the grid system and how it works is that each one is set each column inside of the container is based on a specific width now uh, you see that 16 is 940 and you're saying wait a second but I thought you said it's a 960 based grid system well um, what it does is when we look back at my example you see that I actually naturally have spaces between each of the columns. Uh, each column has uh, 10 pixel margins on each side. So this means that uh, this gutter in between over here is going to be 20 pixels wide. And uh, this entire 16 row, it's not fully spanning 16, uh, 960, it's only going to 940 because it still has to accommodate those uh, 10 pixel gutters on each side. So that's the main value add that uh, Skeleton brings and why you'd want to use it. So uh, let's look at what you actually get when you download Skeleton. Uh, I am going to go to Skeleton and just, um, actually I don't even need to bother downloading it right now. We could just go over what it has in here. Uh, when you download it, let's see, I lost it. Um, when you download it, you get an index file. And that index file, uh, I don't know, it shows you some examples, but basically whenever you start a project with Skeleton, you'll end up 
basically blowing everything in there away and putting in your own things. Probably not the uh, you know stuff like the header and the uh, rather the the head and body portion of the HTML document, but you basically start off with a blank slate. Inside you'll have base.css. Now base.css just does all of the default settings. You know the CSS reset, default styles for your type, your buttons, your forms, and um, Base.css is definitely optional, and you don't need to keep it in for your projects. Uh, Skeleton.css, this is actually the really the essence or where all this grid system comes from. And if uh, it doesn't really make much sense to uh, not use Skeleton CSS if you're going to use Skeleton because that's the core of what it is. And that uh, skeleton is where you find uh, all the information about how uh, you could divide the columns up and all that stuff. And it has all the logic uh, as the browser gets smaller, all the media queries and all that. Um, all that is defined within uh, skeleton. And and finally, the last uh, CSS document you have is layout.css. Layout.css is where you are going to put your own customizations in there and it's really nicely laid out for you already so it's it's better to work from this document than to actually start it on your own um, and also important in index HTML when you see these style sheets included you'll see them included in this order and um, it's important to keep this order because obviously uh, if you put your layout CSS, if you declare it before base CSS, and that means that whatever you know customizations you define, it's going to first read those and then once it hits base.css it's going to override all of those. So layout has to be the last thing. Uh, finally it has uh, the, the old standard favicon image which uh, in my example I didn't change but you know that, that it's bringing this logo up on the top left over here S and it also has um, three different uh, icons for Apple Touch so when someone's looking um, at your project through uh, an Apple device, uh, an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone or an, an iTouch for that matter um, they'll also get the icons and if they bookmark your page and they get a little thumbnail on their on their um, on their desktop or whatever, um, it'll be your specific logo. So uh, that's a very basic introduction to Skeleton. Um, it's a nice fluid grid system that I've used, and for the most part, I highly recommend using it within your own projects.